Hello everyone, I am in the city of Lashan, about to go and find the great grand Buddha of Lashan, which is the tallest ancient Buddha in the world, so very exciting stuff. Just arrived from Chengdu, there's a station. Looks pretty typical Chinese city so far, so I'm going to hop into a taxi and try and get this done as quickly as possible. So I want to go home back to Shanghai this evening. Wow, what a lovely taxi driver. There he is. <laughs> what a hero. He's like, you should have got the bus. I was like, it's okay. I'll just get a taxi. I don't have much time here. He's like, no, no, no. Get the bus next time. He's like pointing me to the bus stop. He's like, it costs 20 quid. Just go take this. Like, okay. Here we are at the entrance so, of the Lashan Grand Buddha. Looking very grand, I must say. Excited to see what's in store for me. Wonder how long it takes to walk over. We'll see. Right, we're in for the price of 80 kwai. 80! That's a lot for a place in China. Normally I like 30 kwai, 40 kwai. So for the price of 80 kwai, we took it to the old Buddha. Very excited to see him. I can't see anything yet, <laughs> but I've got to walk this way and talk this way, and hopefully I'll um, stumble into him, stumble across him even. If I stumble into him, I'll break him. So, yeah, hopefully I stumble across him. Yeah, here we go. Lashan. Grand Buddha. Onwards. This is such a tourist trap. <laughs> All of this just to see a Buddha. It's absolutely round. People are just buying all sorts of crap to be honest. For God's sake. <laughs> Even I've given it though. My own eyes move. No, just get me to the Buddha. Jesus. Buddha. Alright, so I'm walking there now. It's a kilometre away. Imagine doing this in summer. I think I'd die. Anyway, they said, I've just found this, called the Dhyana, Dhyana. It's a big meditation symbol, apparently. This doesn't look particularly old, I won't lie. <laughs> it's fairly modern. So I hope they didn't just carve a cliff out just to have this on, because it doesn't really, I was just please show respect though, look at that. Okay. Please show respect, so no pet moves. Yeah, I hope they didn't carve this out just for the just for the tourists, but pretty cool still. It is pretty cool. I'll give them that. Pretty cool. I'll show you the other side of the the road I'm on. Look. Ooh. Lushan. Modern Lushan in all its glory. A nice foggy day. I don't think it's smog. There you go. Very nice. Lots of boats. We go entering, we got, it's a 5A's National Tourist Attraction. That's the highest rating they give here in China, so it must be good. All right, let's go through the, the entrance. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. All right, where is this thing? <laughs> Not sure I can miss it really, but where the hell are, where the hell are you? Around. Right, so rumour has it, according to my house big paddy, there are lots of steps and it's horrendous. We're saying this way. This is the start of it all. I wonder how I'm gonna feel when I get to the top. Anyway, this is what years of training have been for. By week in Tibet. Walking around at high altitude, this is what it's all for right now. And I forgot to have my inhaler today, so I might struggle. <sighs> Let's go. Oh. <laughs> 
lovely shot, that. Huh? A lovely photo. Oh, I can see the head. On here, and it's absolutely massive. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of the earlobes with them, Jesus. You can see here, his nose is a bit black and it's got stains down his face. That's from acid rain. So once again, pollution is the devil. Mm. Other than that though, it's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Wow. Alright, so the, so the statue is 71 meters tall. So he's a big boy. And he was carved between 713 and 803 AD. So you can see his hands resting on his lap. <laughs> he's seated. Which makes it all the more impressive how tall it is really. They made it, it that tall and it's still seated. Alright, so normally you can stand down there and have a look up at it, but come at the wrong time of year it seems. <laughs> Maybe they close it. They seem to be renovating the stairs. It's a nightmare. It's a must get on the ferry and get a, a boat pass, but yeah. <laughs> You've got to appreciate that what it is, haven't you? Wow. I've seen busier, to be fair. The majority of places in China, the tourist places are very busy. You have to queue up and shove your way in to take photos everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what though, it's pretty lovely up here, isn't it? The fish. Got a little forest going on. Some bamboo over there. Wonder if there's any pandas lurking about. We are in Sichuan province after all. Who knows? <laughs> and here we have in and amongst the jungle Pilu Temple. And as you can see, there's nobody else around. <laughs> They're all over there with Buddha. So let's have a look what Pilu Temple has in store for us. Well, it's the first building, first temple I've seen that looks like a semi-detached house. The way it's built. Very good brickwork. That's more like it. Oh. Look at the designs. They always do it well, don't they? <laughs> a nice little temple. <laughs> many people there. It's a very noisy place, old Lusham Buddha scenic area. Lots of people knocking about. Don't really get the tran tranquil feeling I expect <laughs> when it comes to Buddhism. Especially after just being in Tibet where everything was just so peaceful. Yeah. Still enjoying it. And I'll try and find a boat now, finally. My disappointment is immeasurable. My day is ruined. It's five past five. I just tried to get on the boat. They wouldn't let me get a ticket. Even literally, I arrived at 5 p.m. on a dot and they said they stopped selling tickets at five. And they just wouldn't budge and let me on. Even though I see a whole group waiting down there now. So then I tried to break onto the boat. <laughs> I strolled on. And then I thought, well, I didn't get past the ticket checkpoint. And I asked, can I get a ticket? And they're like, no. I'm like, why? And then literally someone else walked past me with a ticket. I'm just like, well, they got a ticket. Can I just get on it? Not happening, apparently. So I might have to come back to Le Shan and see it properly. Uh, so frustrating. 
Oh well. Alright, so I'm gonna go across the river to a, literally a place called Tourism Plaza and see if there's a good view from there. If it's called Tourism Plaza, surely there is. So, <laughs> my fingers are crossed. Hopefully, we can see the Buddha from the front. <laughs> That's the best angle I can get of it. And you can kind of see it there. See his head poking out. His feet. But yeah. <laughs> I need a boat, but I don't have the time. <laughs> so maybe Le Shan I might come back to. Very cool, but... <laughs> it could have been better. At least this guy's having a good time. Not this woman even, Jesus. <laughs> 